just a day before the NAI semifinal game against Eastern Oregon here in Baldwin City, here with Baker University head football coach Mike Grossner. Coach, on the on the eve of the big game, um, how's the team uh, mindset going into Saturday? Uh, we've had a good week of prep. Uh, our, I'm proud of our kids, the way they prepare. They've done it every week this year. They're excited about the opportunity. Uh, you know, you get to the Final Four, all four teams are good. They, re, they highly respect this opponent in Eastern Oregon, uh, but they're excited to be home. It's been a nice run at home. You know, that's a big advantage to be able to sleep in your bed the night before, have your home field, uh, crowd watching. And then last week, of course, we had it on ESPN3 and KSMO for Thanksgiving, so we had huge view viewership. Uh, we've heard a lot of great things about that. And then this week, our president, Dr. Murray, stepped up and uh, did it again. And we're going to be on uh, ESPN3, KSMO locally at 1, 106 uh, p.m., so prime time. Uh, plus, I expect a huge crowd. I, I'm excited. Last two weekends, we've had great crowds. Thanksgiving weekend, my expectation was low, and, and they packed the house. So uh, our kids love it. Uh, and very uh, thankful for it. Yeah, let's talk about Eastern Oregon. They've uh, this season knocked off the last two national champs. They defeated Southern Oregon twice this year, and then just shut out Marion 17-0. Um, you know what was working for Eastern Oregon last week to be able to shut out the number one team? Well, you watch that game, and I told their head coach Tim Camp, I, I said, "Man, what a win for you guys." You know, he's a good dude. I've gotten to know him through the week here, just in conversations. I can tell his team plays through him you know he's got a lot of passion for football he's a old school guy uh, I can respect that and uh, he understands this opportunity but uh, you could see it they, they were very opportunistic uh, Marion turned the ball over seven times and uh, they did not allow a touchdown they did not score an offensive touchdown they had a interception return for a touchdown they had a punt return for a touchdown and a field goal uh, but every time Marion got down there to do something, they, 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 they took the ball away. So this is a team, if you watch their past, even this season and in the past, in big games they found a way to win. Uh, they've played in big games against Marion, Southern Oregon, two national champions, and they've beaten them. So our, our team understands that and respects that and understands that for us to win, we're going to have to take it to them and we're going to have to finish. Yeah, what will the keys be? I know turnover margin's been huge for this team with, you know, plus 29 right now in the, in the season. You took the ball away five times last game. So taking the ball away, but but also, you know, how do you make sure your, your offense keeps up with what they've been able to do this season? Well, you know, when I talk to them tonight, and the message is always, but this week is us. You know, worry about what we can control. Uh, you know, do what you do well. Don't try to play outside the box. And our, and our guys, you know, if, if we play well and play clean, uh, we'll have success. And defensively, you know, they got a quarterback that, that I think is pretty good and, and can make plays with his arm and his legs. Uh, they've got some receivers on the outside that will go get the ball. I think the strength of their team is up front. Both O-line and D-line are, are real good. And that conference is that. That's a physical conference. Uh, watching tape on them the last two years, they kind of beat on each other all year, and the, and the best one survives it. And so you know that two teams coming out of there into the playoffs are going to be real physical. So we expect that type of game, but, but we got to worry about what we do well and do it to the highest level we can, and we'll have success. I wanted to ask you about an award that came out this week. Uh, your quarterback, Logan Bertel, was named the 2016 College Division COSIDA Academic All-American of the Year. Um, the sixth ever academic All-American at Baker, but the first ever to win the uh, Player of the Year award in that category. And what does that mean uh, for your program, but, but also to Logan, He's such a, a great competitor on the field, but then also off the field in the classroom? Yeah, well-deserving. I couldn't have picked another guy on our football team that deserved that award. Uh, and the key word is Player of the Year. You know, it, it's an All-American academic award, but it includes his play on the field. There, everything encumbers that award, what he does in the classroom and what he does on the field. And the guy deserves it. He's led us all year uh, on and off the field. He spoke when he had to, and the kids listen. 
and that's what a great leader does. Uh, we're glad he's leading us into this one. Well, this will be uh, this is our 14th um, interview here on campus, either right here in this spot or inside. Um, you've had eight home games this year. Um, ninth coming up. Um, excuse me, this will be your eighth home game. How about uh, for some last words for Baker Nation as they prepare to go out to Liston Stadium on Saturday? Yeah, I mean, 24 hours away, can't wait. I know we're going to have a big crowd. They got a tent uh, with Moose's Barbecue catering in, and I'm sure that'll be a lot of fun. Get there early. Uh, games at 1 o'clock, and the tent will open early. And then enjoy it, soak it in. This, this is what it's all about. This is what football is all about, to, to have the opportunity playing this type of game. And uh, we're going to let it loose, and hopefully you do too. Thanks, Coach. We'll see you Saturday at 1.06 p.m. Thank you.